Uh, I, I guess it's done. Hey, it's the holidays and I, I've had a couple drinks over the Thanksgiving holiday and apparently I sent a print to my printer. This is the Bamboo Lab H2S. And while I had had a few at home, I remotely sent this print to the printer and it looks like it's done. Three, two, one. I believe what I did was open up my laptop and find this fun print that you put fruits and veggies and stuff you want to rinse in the sink. And then you send the sink water down that hole in it and it rinses it. So let's get the supports up. Supports are off and it looks to be a pretty neat design. Like, look at that. The, the water from the sink would go in here, and in here you would put your strawberries or your broccoli, Brussels sprouts, your fruits, your veggies, your 3D benchies. Put it in the sink and put the water in, and it's supposed to swirl it around. Let's take it to the sink. That's kind of cool. The water's going in, swirling around, and then it's draining out the holes. This is a success. Oh, shoot. However, this print has one fatal flaw. And if I take you to the printer and pop open the AMS, I think you'll get an idea of what that flaw is. At home one evening, what I had done was saw that the H2S was loaded with what Bamboo Studio said was PLA. It was actually loaded with this PLA. This is Polymakers HT PLA GF. That GF means glass fiber. And this is supposed to touch food. Unfortunately, what I did was print a really cool demonstration piece that should never see food. I don't know about you, but I don't want fiberglass in my teeth. This was a cool print to see. It does maintain its status as a demonstration, but not as something that could be used. I have the G-code on this machine and I could load a regular PLA up and we could actually test it with some strawberries. If you printed this, what fruit would you put in it?